Vijay Raghavan Sundar Vardhan is a retail investor who has chosen to invest equivalent of his six month salary in gold to respond to any emergencies. Are gold mutual funds a suitable alternative to physical gold or gold ETFs? And what is the level of trading liquidity in the gold ETFs in India? He wants to know. Well, gold is absolutely not a suitable asset class for creating an emergency corpus. That's because gold is far too volatile an asset class uh, to be suitable for this investing need. Just look at this graph, which shows uh, the returns from gold in any block of three months in the last 10 years. And you can see that in, in these three months uh, durations, their returns have oscillated uh, fairly widely in a, in, a, in a range from as high as 20% to as low as 15%. And that's the kind of volatility that your emergency corpus cannot absorb. For that, you want the returns to be much more linear and much more smooth, more like this graph that you now see on your screen, which is that uh, for liquid funds, which depicts the same returns in three months blocks in the last 10 years. And of course, these returns are much more moderate. Uh, but uh, again, with your emergency corpus, returns is never a priority. You should prioritize safety, low volatility, and liquidity. And those are the kind of tenets that you get from liquid funds. So I would say that to build his emergency corpus, he should select a couple of good liquid funds and park his money over there. Now, gold is considered a safe haven, but not in the context of creating an emergency corpus. Uh, gold one should look at investing if one has lost faith in the economy if the currency is falling apart and that is when gold appears a safe haven as a, as a protector of worth of your money as the ultimate protector of wealth and that is where the gold emerges uh, as a valuable asset class also some investors like to keep some allocation of their long term portfolio in gold in steady state as it generally acts as a good hedge against equity because whenever equity markets uh, fall sharply, gold tends to do well. So from that perspective, uh, there is some merit in having some allocation to gold uh, in a steady state. Uh, so broadly, those are the kind of uses for which one can look at gold. Now, the discussion beyond this may only be of academic interest uh, because as I, as I just mentioned, uh, gold will not be a suitable asset class for his investment. But to answer his question around gold funds versus gold ETFs, well, the charm of gold funds lies in their convenience because you don't need a DMAT account or a trading account to be able to invest in them. Uh, so that's why investors who do not otherwise invest in stocks uh, prefer gold funds for this convenience. Also, uh, they offer good liquidity because the AMC stands committed to honor your redemption request and it is not dependent upon the trading volumes on a stock exchange. Uh, but the point is that this convenience comes at a slightly higher cost. Uh, because gold funds uh, in gold funds you incur an additional cost of about 15 to 20 basis points uh, per annum which is over and above the expense ratio of the gold etf but numbers suggest that investors are uh, pretty fine paying this extra cost for the convenience they get because if you look at uh, if we compare the assets under management of gold funds versus gold etfs uh, you would realize that for majority of uh, fund companies about half of their assets uh, under gold ETFs are contributed by the gold funds. So purely on an AUM perspective, uh, investors are fairly divided between their preference for gold funds and gold ETFs. Uh, now coming to the issue of liquidity in gold ETFs, just look at this graph on your screen, which depicts uh, the trading volumes, uh, the average daily trading volumes in gold ETFs in any block of six months in the last three years. And you would notice how far ahead the Nippon Gold ETF, the Gold BEES, is uh, versus its peers in terms of liquidity. So while this fund generates an average trading volume of upwards of 20 crore on a daily basis, uh, others are far behind and, and many are well below one crore worth of trading volume every day. So clearly on that metric, selectivity matters. Uh, but in any case, if you're looking to add gold to your portfolio, more from a steady state allocation perspective and you don't mind compromise on liquidity uh, then i would suggest you to look at sovereign gold bonds which appear to be uh, a far superior option because they provide two and a half percent guaranteed returns over and above uh, the appreciation in the gold price and they are also more tax efficient